The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his ways. I was telling some of the folks about a, a young believer. He's only been saved a few years. He has a little repair shop, and he was listening to the radio one day, the local talk show, and they were talking about God and the Bible, and they were way off, as they usually are. So he went over to his phone, and he called up the talk show host, and he said, excuse me, I'm a new believer, I study the Bible, let me point out a thing or two, and he explained to this talk show host what God really said about that thing, whatever the issue was. Well, the talk show host was quite interested in all of this, and thanked him very much, and off the air, asked him who he was and what his phone number was, said, I'd like to keep in touch with you. Fine, so that was, that was it. Well, a week or two went by, and the fellow was listening to the radio, and all of a sudden, uh, he heard the talk show host say, well, let's find out what God has to say about this. And his phone rang in his little repair shop. Hello? <laughs> Who speaks for God? The little fellow working in a repair shop, just saved a couple of years. He speaks for God. Look, you don't work at that factory or in that office or live in that neighborhood by accident. Do you think that? Of course not. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his ways. And God puts you there to be his local rep. Now, of course, that means that if you're his local rep and somebody wants to talk to the complaint department, they'll take it out on you because you represent God. You speak for God. And that's why it's so important that we're careful what we say when people ask us questions. When they ask our opinion, they're not interested in our opinion. They may not ask you what your opinion is very often, but when they do ask you, they don't want it. They want what God has to say. They want to know what God says about that. At my father-in-law's funeral, a businessman came to me and said, I feel like an orphan. He said, I only knew one man that was in touch with God. And that was your father-in-law. And when I had a problem, I knew I could come to him and he would talk to God about it for me. Do you speak for God? 